Welcome to another episode of my daily day. I know I haven't done one of these in a while, but it's getting really closer to Christmas right now. I believe we are now 17 days away. And um, today I want to talk about the Christmas season and how different this year is going to be compared to other years. You know, a, lot, a couple of years, you know, every Christmas, you know, you usually, usually have the uh, the break the Christmas trees and the stockings and then you have a Christmas dinner with family and you know it's a whole big get together just like Thanksgiving is but like Thanksgiving this year you know Christmas is gonna be different it's, it's, as well you know because with uh, everybody still you know scared of the COVID and everything and you know with people uh, a lot of people being out of work you know this is also gonna be a, a year that maybe families um, don't really have a lot to give to their their kids and you know this is as much as Christmas is a family thing it's all it's very big for children and um, so my heart goes out to uh, those families that won't be able to do as much as they you they normally would do for their kids and it's not really about the giving you know um, the Christmas season isn't really about the gifts but it's about love you know, but sometimes kids don't understand that and you know parents you know they they feel obligated to give their kids what they consider a really good Christmas and um, so I, I want to talk about that for a little bit I want to talk about you know being there for people who you know are, are having it rough people who uh, you know feel down on themselves because they can't provide that normal Christmas that they normally do and um, I want you to be a rock for someone because, uh, you know, I'm all grown up now. You know, I still love Christmas as much as the next person. But, you know, to me, it's more about like family now. When I was younger, I, I, used to, I, was, I was the same way. I loved getting the gifts and, you know, my, my parents did everything they could to always pro give us an enjoyable Christmas. I mean, even like my... Um, my aunts, uncles, uh, all that, they, they, they always sent cards, they always sent, you know, kids always like getting money, you know, and, but this year is different. A lot of parents, like I said, a lot of families are out of work right now, and, you know, they're lucky to even still have a home on their head, so, uh, if you see somebody who's a little down on themselves during this year, this is the biggest gift you can give somebody by being a rock for them. I want you to reach out to people. I, I see it every day. I see, uh, I'm not going to name names, but I see people, you know, have that cry for help. They're down on themselves. They, they're down on, you know, not having a lot right now. And they're down on um, what, what they consider failures. And just a simple message like, hey, is everything okay? That, that could mean the world to somebody right now. Um, I don't want anyone to ever feel like they're they're in this fight alone. Um, I always, I, I mean, I, I can't, obviously I can't reach out to everybody because I, I can't be online all the time. But when I am online, I'm, I try to be self-aware. I try to be, when I go down my knees for you, I try to, when I see a, a post that may seem a little off, I just want to reach out to that person just kind of make sure that they're they're okay because this the Christmas season as much as it's great it also can be a real tough one for people who are not feeling thankful or joyous or you know all the positive emotions that come with Christmas and um, I think it's on honestly everyone's responsibility to watch out for each other these are the days that can bring people together. You know, we have so much separation in the world right now. But days like Christmas are the days that we have to remember that this is how it should be all the time. This is how we should always act. This is how we always should be responsible for each other. I know you, people have their own families and their own issues, but... It, it really isn't a hindrance to reach out to somebody that, 
even if it's for just a couple minutes, just to check on them. Isn't that what, you know, togetherness is all about? Togetherness is to watch out for each other. Um, I, I, I love it when people just check on me. I, I mean, and sometimes, you know, you know they're all, what are they worried about? But, you know, on their end, they read into things and they, sometimes they're right. Sometimes I am down. And sometimes I'll get a message like, hey, Rob, you, you doing good? Hey, you, be, you, you seem a little quiet these days. Or, because once you know somebody, you know kind of their habits, you know what kind of things they post, you know what kind of, uh, uh, what kind of humor they use, or whatever it, it may be. And even if you don't know that person well, you can kind of tell when, when someone posts like, oh, this has been a shitty day. So just reach out and say, hey, do you, need to, do you need to talk? I mean, I'm here. It's bent. I try to do that all as much as I can. Like I said, there's no way anyone can possibly online 24 hours a day. But when I am online, I do, I do kind of look out for people. I, I, I make sure that people are all right. That's what this is. This world is about. This is a, a. This is what, how we can bring the world together again. I had someone told me a long time ago. What do you What do you expect everybody to hold hands and sing kumbaya together? No. But I do. People expect to hold the hands. And unite as one. Because that's what it is. We're, we're all. In the, this COVID fight together. COVID doesn't discriminate. COVID attacks everybody. And I know there's people who are still like, uh, COVID's uh, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, you know that, that may be what you're thinking. But are you, really, are you really willing to risk someone else's life on that? If you want to risk your life, that's fine. But when you go out and, and make choices for people, and, you, and that person gets sick, you're responsible. And right now, there's, there's way too much going on in the world right now. Spe with, especially with all the lockdowns going on right now. I, I don't know about you guys. I don't want to go back into a lockdown. That's just going to bring pe more jobs down. More depression down. We need, we need more positivity. That's why I'm asking people to reach out to people. Make sure they're all right. Like, even if you're someone that doesn't believe in this, your friend may think, it's, uh, may believe it. So just, just help them. Even if it's against your belief, even if you don't believe any of it. Because you really want to go to bed one day and wake up and realize that that person may be off themselves or how's that gonna make you feel? Knowing that you saw the signs but didn't help. It's happened to me. I didn't see all the signs, but I guess I should have. My friend, Jim, I've talked about this on the videos, talked a lot. Talked a lot about Kiss, talked a lot about 80s rock, talked about life. Wish me happy birthday. A couple days later, he walked in front of a train. I didn't see the signs. And every day I wish that I did. Don't, don't let that happen to anybody else. I have to live with that every single day. Every single day. I still look back. I, I, I haven't erased him on my page. He's still on my page. And every day I still look back at him. And I'm still looking for maybe something he said. So he didn't leave any signs. But there are a lot of people that I, I see on Facebook that 
leave the signs that they need somebody, they need help, they need to talk to somebody. Don't ignore them. Because you don't want to wake up with that feeling like I did. You don't want to wake up and know that that person is gone now. Or maybe that person uh, flipped a gourd and killed people or whatever. Or even tried to commit suicide. You've been trying. You want to be there for somebody. Trust me, you do. That's why I'm making a mission every single day now to look on my pages. Even if I'm not going to post anything that day, I just scroll down my newsfeed. I just keep going. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Try to read as much as I can, but if I come across something that I see, it seems a little off, comment or, or message them, better yet. Message them just to let them know you care. That can make all the difference in the world. Because sometimes people, that's all they're looking for. They're looking for someone that will listen. Be somebody's listening. Trust me. It will make them feel better. It will make you feel better. And there in lies your Christmas gift to someone. But don't, don't let it end at Christmas. This is a 365 day job. It's kind of like being a mother in a way. You know, mother's always looking after their kids, raising them, feeding them. Dad is always raising them, helping support your parents. The world of your children. Sounds a little cliche, I know, but it is. I was never able to have kids. So, the world is my children. I try to look up of as many people as I can. You know why? Because I love. I love all y'all. Just, just please think about what I've said today. That's all I ask. If you want to do it, fine. If you don't, I can't force you. But if you don't help and if someone falls, you can't feel bad for them because you weren't there. Just think about what I've said. Much love, peace, and harmony. Two plus, two plus weeks left till Christmas. Remember, be someone's rock. It'd be the best present you ever gave somebody. Much love. This has been my daily day. <laughs>